Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, I asked them, like, you know, but she was like, if they move to you first, then what happened? Yeah. She yeah. Set up. So, and so when I asked Sean, she was like, call her and ask her right here. And but if all the ships move to you first, why did you not know, accept anyone? Guys, no be smart you know, from crazy nomination to parrot exposing Onyeka and Cassia. Guys, hmm. to be honest with all of you guys, no one play this game. You see this Big Brother Nigeria game, no one play it better than Big Brother himself. Guys, when we are thinking that the parrot is dead, the parrot will not be talking again because we've waited and waited and waited without this parrot talking. But ladies and gentlemen, we never knew that Big Brother reserved the parrot exposing to a day that it is needed the most. Honestly speaking, I think today that Parrot spilled some things was exactly the day that he was supposed to spill it because guys, all this love and light, love and light, it is now beginning to make the house very, very boring. Big Brother, after introducing a brutal face-to-face -face nomination, decided to unleash the parrot to come and speak. Guys, when the parrot was done speaking, Wani could not even wait a minute before confronting Sean to ask Sean if he ever asked Onyeka out or if he ever had an eye for Onyeka. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean's crazy reply to that question was very, very funny. Meanwhile, Victoria and Onyeka had a serious back and forth because of what Parrot exposed about Onyeka. Ozzy and Victoria, Omanobi Smarty know, there was a serious catastrophe in Big Brother Nigeria Season 9 mansion. And the fact that Cassia did not own up to what she said, that the Parrot exposed, really got me wondering and asking myself, Shebi? Cassia said she is a blunt lady, that she is very, very blunt. Why if he says she no agree on up to her own gist? Guys, details of all of this and many more I am going to be unpacking in this particular video. So if you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed, kindly do well to subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell button and do not forget to give this particular video a very big thumbs up. So immediately after the brutal face-to-face -face nomination process, the housemates were thinking that that was the end of the drama. But we never knew that Big Brother still had a lot up his sleeves. Guys, after some moment, these people, they went on ad break. Once they returned, they started showing parrots. The way they were showing parrots, guys, I was just like, at this one, they are showing this parrot like this. Could it really be that it is now time for the parrots to talk? And guys, when they now showed the eye, I be the ear of the parrot, and it was showing green light i was just like no 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 this parrot is definitely going to talk tonight before you now know it the parrot started doing quick 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 guys that was how the whole housemates gathered around the parrot for the parrot to speak um, uh, that was how the parrot started first with onyeka's gist nonsense now ben is disrespecting me I told her if she gets into a ship, once they start, I would just go the other way. Guys, the moment Parrot said this, Victoria started screaming, everybody should own up their gist with their full chest too, that everybody should own up their gist. Before you know it, Victoria has started asking Ben if he has been disrespecting Onyeka recently because it is Onyeka that said that. Guys, that was how Victoria started explaining how Onyeka was the one that said that thing that Parrot just said there. Oh yeah, can I just respect it? I think the first one is Ben. No, like Ben said that when he first started talking to Onyeka first because he likes you. Guys, the way Victoria's mouth was just doing pra 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 because of the fact that she was seriously trying to, you know, expose that Onyeka was the person that said it. I'm just like, Victoria becoming that, no. Then after that, the parrot spoke again and this time around, it was the conversation that Sean had with Onyeka that Onyeka told Chizoba about Sean telling her that when he knows that his ex is has big nash that is why wani is always insecure whenever she sees she and sean together the parrot still talk about onyeka saying that all the sheep in the house the amben first of all approached her that it was because she didn't accept any of them that is why they are all with the people they are with right now ladies and gentlemen when parrot said these two things Onyeka owned it up. She agreed that she was the one that said it. 
Then the parrot exposed what Cassia told Kelly at the garden. The other day that I even did a video telling all of you guys that we saw Cassia gossiping with her husband, talking about Onyeka forming alliance with Wani and Handi because she knows that Wani and Handi they have large fan base outside the house and her strategy is to be in people's business so that she will always be center of attention and camera will just be carrying her front and back. That her friendship with Wani and Handi are just fake, that she hates fake people. Guys, why Parrot was busy saying all of those things? Cassia pretended as though she wasn't even the one that said it. She didn't even in any way own it up. Guys, I was just like, a way. In all honesty, owing to the fact that Cassia in her diary section one certain time told us how blonde she could be, I was thinking that, okay, she is definitely going to own up what she said about Onyeka, but my good people of God, she never did that. And I was so, so shocked and surprised because I thought that that would have been her time, you know, to be more blunt with Onyeka. But my good people of God, to my greatest shock and surprise, Cassia did not in any way own up her shit and it was quite surprising and shocking because honestly speaking, I never expected that from Cassia. Then at the kitchen, when Onyeka saw Victoria, she was not calling Victoria a parrot caller that she said that she was the one that said that. Guys, Victoria was just like, yes, now, nah, but you said it. And Onyeka was just like, that is why I called you a parrot caller. That is why I call your name. And Victoria still was telling her that, but you said all of those things now. Nah. That is the reason why she called her name. In fact, Victoria was even asking Onyeka why she is taking the whole thing personal. Meanwhile, she was the one that said what she said. Now you now, what do you talk about? <laughs> so, so why are you taking your pee? So why you now? No, why are you calling my name now? I don't, call I don't get. <laughs> <laughs> you you agreed. Yeah. You, you, you agreed. You agreed. You you agreed. I'm just saying. Let me agree now. Hey, so why so what's why you, what's what's the the you what she was saying? Oh, yeah, it's not a fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. I'm saying what she called. I'm calling her. Please, I'm calling you. call my name now. I'm calling your name now. No, you're taking your pee. How am I taking your pee now? You call my name. Did I say you're taking your pee? Guys, they were just arguing the whole thing to the Esther and Cassia was just like, I, I waited the happen. What is all this calling of name up and down all about? Guys, immediately, why that confrontation and back and forth was going on, Sean decided to take Onyeka aside to find out what it was all about and I swear, pacify her. Meanwhile, Cassia and Victoria went towards the other direction. Then Sean was trying to find out what the argument was all about. Onika was now telling Sean that that is how they play, that Victoria used to call her all sorts of names and all sorts of things, and she doesn't get angry. That this night, when Victoria was saying that she was the one that called, or she was the one that said all the things that Parrot said, that she was not calling her Parrot's caller, that she was surprised that Victoria was angry about that. Meanwhile, that is how they used to play. Ladies and gentlemen, she was now vibrating and seeing that. She knows that Victoria will be going about doing media run, that she has seen something to do media run with, that she does not care. She should just go ahead and be doing the media run, that if she tries her, if that bitch tries her, that she is going to do this and that. I was just like, ah, Onyeka be coming down now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this year I'll be ending this particular video because I wouldn't want this particular video to be very, very long and boring. Maybe in our next video, we'll continue from where we stop here. Thanks for watching to this point. If you are still watching, you are the real MVP.